Hi, I'm Anna Haffey and I'm an applications engineer working on web tools here at Analog Devices. And in this video, I'm going to talk about or I'm going to do a demo of our Precision ADC driver tool. Um, and so just to uh, uh, review what we've covered in previous videos, um, we've done a lot to derive the equations for how to describe this simple model um, for the SAR ADC kickback. Um, we've gone through some examples and we've also uh, done all of this. We've simulated all of this in LT Spice. Um, so now uh, using a tool like LT Spice um, is helpful uh, above and beyond these equations because it captures some behaviors that these equations don't, um, including some driver behaviors. Um, but on top of that, using a tool like the Precision ADC Driver Tool captures a few things that LT Spice does not, or, or also um, it it uh, run some calculations that we haven't discussed yet in, in any of these videos. So um, some, you know, some things that we haven't discussed uh, would include noise and SNR, how we would calculate the, the driver um, contribution and the ADC contribution. Um, how would we uh, calculate the amplifier and ADC distortion, um, THD? And then also what are the variations in the different ADCs um, and, and their kickback behavior? which is something that um, can be somewhat complex and it's something that's, that's uh, factored into the tool. So the, the Precision ADC Driver Tool calculates all these things and takes into account all these things. Um, so now I'm going to do a, a demonstration of the Precision ADC Driver Tool. So here I've loaded the Precision ADC Driver Tool, which can be found on our website at analog.com. And I can set this up to show the same example that we've, we've been discussing in previous videos. So if I select the 2378, and if I adjust this just a little bit, just so that it matches our example with the three uh, nanofarad capacitor, um, we can see that we've got the schematic view of our circuit. Um, and we can easily change these settings, um, sample rate and VREF, and we can change driver configurations and input configurations. And I'm not going to go over that right now, but I'll, I'll show you that there's two results tabs that you can look at. So input settling is, um, is what we've been discussing in the past several videos. And so you can see here that this is very much in line with what we saw in LT Spice. Um, so this is our LSB error view and, and you can see that this configuration settles you know very well um, and then you can also look in terms of instead of LSB error you can look in terms of PPM error if that's um, what you're more interested in and then you can also just look at this uh, just raw volts again driving at the full scale reference and and seeing you know the um, the, the drop that we expect here with this uh, kickback at the beginning of acquisition and then something you can do in this view is you can download an LT Spice simulation, which will be a zip file that contains schematics that are very much in line with what I demonstrated in the last video, which shows um, or uses a, uh, an analog input model for this ADC. Um, something else that you can look at in this tool that LT Spice won't um, predict for you is uh, the distortion of the driver and of the ADC. And so this is a prediction of, and, and there's also noise. So there's uh, noise and distortion, and then the combined, uh, the, the sign add and the E knob, which combines the two into a, a figure of merit. Um, and then, so, so all this distortion, the, the results in the summary are based on the frequency that you've specified right here. So if I'm, uh, you know, more concerned about, say, uh, 20 kilohertz bandwidth, um, you, can, you can specify that and see what the results are. And so then to, to again, follow the example um, that we were looking at, if you switch this to the 4610, which you can see here in the driver selection window is not uh, is not recommended. Now, just because it's not recommended doesn't mean that it won't work, but it's it's not one that we've we've tested and 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 that we sort of you know stand behind. So this 4610 is not recommended. And then we can see in the input settling that same behavior that we saw in LT Spice 
with this ringing. Um, so, you know, this is behavior that was not predicted by the equations that, that we've derived because the equations just don't account for the driver at all. So this tool makes it very easy to look at um, several different drivers and to switch around quickly. Um, so one thing that we can look at is instead of looking at an op amp, we can easily switch to this uh, LTC6363, which is a diff amp. And we can see how that's re represented in the schematic. Um, so in this case, we've got this, um, it, it auto adjusted the RC values for us a little bit and we can see that it doesn't uh, fully settle. And so this is, it, it's really up to uh, you and it's up to your application as to whether or not this settling is going to be an issue. Um, if you're concerned about DC precision measurements, then this is probably not, um, let me switch it, this is not probably a, a, a settling figure that you're, you're going to be, uh, that's going to be acceptable. So there's things you can you can take a look and just and make a decision based on your application. Um, so if if DC precision measurements are, are very important, then you probably want to uh, increase the bandwidth of the filter a little bit to allow for settling. So you can see that's pretty easy, um, you know, to get settled. Uh, but on the other hand, if what you're more concerned about are uh, is more like an AC performance, then because you've increased the bandwidth, your SNR has gone down because you're letting more noise in. Um, so again, you can use this tool to just kind of evaluate, okay, well, so if I lower the bandwidth, which is going to result in a settling error, how's that going to impact my, my overall distortion, SNR, um, you know, other figure of merits that, that are AC uh, related. A and you can make a trade-off about what's more important. So again, here we've got a scenario where, um, you know, not very settled at all, but maybe we decide both using the tool, but then definitely uh, building this and evaluating it at the bench. Maybe you decide, you know, this, 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 uh, settling error that we get is, is actually okay because I'm, um, I've am i been able to lower the bandwidth to reduce the noise. Um, now this, this trade-off between how the settling impacts the AC performance varies uh, between ADCs. So this ADC is particularly uh, resilient to settling issues. Um, so you can see here, we've got, we've got quite a bit of, of non-settling, but you're seeing that it's not really impacting distortion all that much on this, um, on this ADC curve. Other ADCs in this tool, you'll actually see a much uh, tighter connection between uh, not settling and how that affects distortion. Again, something that the tool can show you, and it's something that I'll go into uh, in, in a later video. When you use this tool, keep in mind that we've got several, um, uh, we've got help topics, you know, several things to help you get started using the tool. Um, so we've got help topics, both a, a, a top level help and then, and then help topics scattered throughout the tool. We've also got a feedback option. So if you have a, a specific question or specific feedback, you can provide that to us. Um, and then also, if you want to share your circuit configuration with a colleague, you can always share by just using the URL. And uh, when you click on this URL, it'll open up the tool in the configuration th that you had it configured uh, to share. So I, I think that's very helpful. Um, also, any questions or, or comments on the tool, you can uh, submit it at Engineer Zone. And all of this is available from within the tool, which you can find on our website at analog.com or search with any search engine.